Hello boys and girls! In this clip we're going to learn how to make custom brushes and use layer masking. We start off by making a new file. After making our background black and creating a new layer, it's time to create our first custom brush. Click on File, Open and browse to your brush location. The file type for brushes is GBR. I download my brushes from DeviantArt. For this tutorial, I'll be using two brushes. Your brushes will be opened in a new window. Once you have done that, go to Edit, Copy and then Edit, Paste as new brush. Give your brush a name and save. Once we have done that for all of our brushes, we can start making our image. Normally, the brush you created last will be your currently selected brush. So click on the brush tool and you're good to go. Make sure you have the color you want. On a black background, this would ideally be white and vice versa. Also, make sure you are painting on your new transparent layer. I will be making an angel by combining my two brushes. Once you have painted the desired outline for your image, go to the transparent layer, right click and go to Alpha to Selection. This will select everything that is not transparent on the layer. Now that we have selected our outline, we are going to choose a regular solid brush, choose the color white and start painting our selection white. With colored brushes such as the wings, you may have to go over them a couple of times to make them completely white. Also, if this video is going too fast for you, there is no shame in pausing or rewatching any of it. I have sped up this bit a little bit because I am just painting the entire outline white. You can also click on alpha to selection a couple of times whenever you paint your image a little wider. This will make the selection more clear. Don't forget that you can only paint inside your selected area. So if you want to paint elsewhere, go to select none. Now that we have made a nice white stamp for our image, we are halfway done. Give yourself a pat on the back because you've earned one. For the layer masking, start off by making a new layer above your background and under your stamp. Then go to the gradient tool and select full saturation spectrum. On your new layer, make a gradient that you think will look nice on your stamp. Once you've done that, right click on your gradient layer and go to add layer mask. On a layer mask, everything that is white is transparent and everything that is black isn't. Now make a selection of your stamp by right clicking the layer and clicking alpha to selection. Then hide it by clicking the eye icon in front of your layer. Select a white brush and make sure your layer mask is selected. Then paint over your selection. The underlying gradient should now become visible. This concludes our layer masking and custom brush tutorial. In the video I have done some extras but they don't really need explaining. Just experiment with the tools and methods that we have learned in this video and remember to make each work your own. If you have any questions in relation to this video, please feel free to post them in a the comment. Also, if you haven't watched my first video, it may contain things that I didn't explain in this video, so be sure to check it out. Finally, if you like these kinds of videos, make sure you rate and subscribe, because there are plenty more to come. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you next time.